now i will go to the fifth lesson and i'll explain it this lesson it is written by mahatma gandhi ji m k gandhi mohandas karamchand gandhi pre reading activity honesty is the best policy do you agree discuss in pairs you have to discuss this in pairs do you agree that honesty is the best policy now i will explain this lesson what is moral action we must know what is moral action what is non moral action and moral less action these are three different things but here gandhi ji has spoken more about non moral action and moral action note on the author mohandas karamchand gandhi it is his name he is from gujarat born in po- born at porbandar in 1869 and up till 1948 to the millions of indians mahatma gandhi was the greatest of contemporary indians and certainly one of the great men of all times eternal great a great forever a great soul so he is called bapu ji in english he is called father of the nation he was the mightiest force in the indian political scene for nearly half a century and remained the profoundest influence on all areas of public life in all areas of public life he became the profound hero his method of non violence he brought independence to india by non violence without using weapon de di azad hame bina khadg bina dhal sabarmati ke sant tune kar diya kamal his method of non violence and truth one freedom for india non violence and truth so it is proved honesty is the best policy without blood said and demonstrated to the modern man how love is more powerful than nuclear bombs nowadays these wars are going on the basis of nuclear bombs more blood said will be there without dropping a single blood on the ground he gave independence to india on the principles of truth and non violence appropriate to man's idea ideals gandhi's life and work are an open book and therefore mention of the landmarks of his life in mere formality in simple way mere in formality the life of gandhi ji and he led a simple life gandhi ji wrote and spoke tirelessly without tiredness he wrote autobiography he wrote so many books he has written and he spoke to the public tirelessly using his characteristic charm and simplicity for which his autobiography is the finest example it is said that man in his life must read the autobiography written by mahatma gandhi in this lesson gandhi ji discusses what makes an action moral action which action is moral action and which action is non moral action not moral lesser moral less is a different thing that is immoral moral non moral and immoral i'll write here three steps are there 
that is one moral action second non moral and third is moral non moral and immoral moral action is different non moral action is different but in these both cases in moral and non moral action you won't find any bad behavior of a person here but whereas in in immoral the man is totally immoral a shameless person what we can call him in this lesson gandhi ji discusses what makes an action moral he tries to answer the question with several examples he has given number of examples he has given firstly for an act to be moral it must be one that is done from our own free will this if you want to if you want to have a moral action it must be done by your free will manasare madabeku manasaninda madabeku for example it may be moral for a king to pardon a culprit if a king if a person commits a crime and uh, if it, if the king wants to pardon him excuse him that action can be called moral action because it has come from the will of the king his messenger's action can become a moral action only if he delivers the order given to him by the king to pardon the culprit considering to be his duty and if the message of the king is given to a messenger can become a moral action only if he delivers it as the order of the king not by his own selfishness given to him by the king to pardon the culprit cons- considering it to be his duty he is doing his duty that's all he is not doing favor on that some people do if the superior gives an order the subordinate takes the order and he goes and tells i have told the superior to pass the order if he is going with this intention then it is non moral action but if he is doing as his own duty without inserting any of his desire or wish in that then that action can be called moral action but if he delivers it mechanically if he does it mechanically then it becomes a non moral act if he is doing mechanically as a force has come on him he is doing his duty forcibly without having his will and wish then it can be non moral act not immoral secondly if a man defies convention and acts on his own to be to do absolute good he does so as he cares for what his conscience tells him what his mind tells him he if he is doing it such a man believes in himself and in the god of all who is a witness to all our actions whatever the actions are done not mechanically but his conscience tells him such a man believes in himself he believes in himself and in the god he believes in himself and god of all who is a witness to all our actions who is witness god is witness thirdly gandhi tells us that it is not enough of the act is good in itself if a act is good and if you are doing that good act 
it cannot be considered as moral action but it must be done with the intention of doing good only if the action is good it is not sufficient but you should have the intention of doing good for example if a man feeds the poor because of pity and intention he is to do good to the poor then it is a moral action if a man feeds if a man serves a poor man if a man serves a beggar if a man provides food to the poor or to the beggar with a good intention then it is a moral action but on the contrary if a man feeds the poor because of selfish interest his action is not moral one but there are some people who serve food thousands of people to become popular that the people who have taken meals or who had that meals there should go and tell others that this person is a very good person he served us meals that he should be praised by one and all this action is actually non moral action not moral less that is not immoral understood children i think Fourthly he tells us three four five points are there Fourthly he tells us that it is not enough if the good if the good we do is done with the good intentions it should also be done without fear and compulsion You are doing one act the act is good your intention is good but there not be there should not be fear in your mind anjike iruvaradu no compulsion should be there for example king richard ii of england granted the peasants means farmers their rights under his own seal what happened the farmers became furious against the king king richard ii so immediately due to fear he passed an order under his own seal but when the fear of their revolt was over when the fear of the farmers was over then to surrender their rights again he took back the rights given to them this action first what he had done with a good intention then again he withdrew it this cannot be moral action it is actually a non moral action his first act of goodness therefore was something done out of fear and compulsion the first action what he did was done due to fear and compulsion of the farmers he feared the farmers and then he passed the order proclaimed the order and therefore is not a moral act and this act cannot be called the first one cannot be called as a moral act it is non moral act fifthly fifth five points are there our action should be free from self interest our action should be always free from self interest morality and self interest do not go together morality and self interest will not go hand in hand shakespeare therefore said that love born out of profit motive is no love if love is born in you out of profit and any motive or selfish end that love is not love at all lastly just as an action done for the profit here on earth is not moral whatever you do on this earth for the base for the purpose of profit this action cannot be called moral action so to if an action if done for a reward and eternal life after death and even if you are doing it to have an eternal life after death having an intention and if you are done for a reward that action cannot be moral action becomes non moral this action becomes non moral 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेंट फ्रांसिस जेवियर प्रे टू गॉड टू कीप हिज माइंड प्योर ऑफ सेल्फिश मोटिव सेंट फ्रांसिस सेंट जेवियर फ्रांसिस जेवियर ही प्रेड गॉड दैट हिज माइंड शुड बिकम प्योर एंड आउट ऑफ सेल्फिश मोटिव he prayed because he thought it was his duty to do so and not for a reward in heaven he did it because he thought it it came from his heart intention good intention and not for the get not for getting reward in heaven this action is also moral action second mother teresa had a picture in her picture means pot picture P I T C H E M in one hand and a torch in another hand. She wanted to burn the bliss in the heaven, and she wanted to pacify the hell. This action was also moral action of Mother Teresa. Gandhi ji tells us that it is quite difficult to answer the question, "What is morality?" As it is not possible to look into the minds of men, we cannot enter the minds of the men. so it is very difficult to define morality so one important question may come in uh, for your sslc exam what is the dif- examination what is the difference between moral action and non moral action now children <laughs> i tell you all to read this lesson what is moral action twice and then write the meanings of the difficult words twice or thrice and then try to write the summary whatever now i have explained here note it down five to six points are there you concentrate on these points it would be better for you all and write the question answers of what is moral action thank you thank you very much